And welcome back, everybody, to our continuing Settlement Survival Extreme Series. I'm Larry. We have so much stuff to get done today. Look what we have here. We're full blown on our buffalo. So life is good here. We're pulling out 382 last year. Doing a whole lot better than that alpaca meat. Look what we have here. Our geeses are full. So let's go ahead and let's bring this down to four and let's get them started. And we'll get this show on the road. Now, remember how I've always talked about surging my farmers? Well, yeah, it's time to start playing that game because... We are just not going fast enough in our growth. I am so sick and tired of waiting on immigrants. I mean, we're back down to zero again. Really? Come on. This is ridiculous. And I want stuff. I want to get stuff done. And I'm sure you, you feel the same way. Like, Larry, come on. We got to be doing better than this. This is just ridiculous. Well... Yeah, so we're going to get this accomplished and we're going to get it accomplished in this episode. Now, how are we going to do this? You might ask. Well, I still haven't figured that out, <laughs> but we're getting this mine over here. That one's built. But if this is going to work the way I want it to work, we need to get this one built. And in fact, we need to get this one over here built as well so let's slide that one right there so now we're going to have two mines and the reason why i'm doing two mines is these are going to be coal mines the reason why they're going to be coal mines is because we're going to send these workers to build and work in our mines it's as simple as that now, they're not happy about it. <laughs> Sucks to be them. But I'll be happy about it. And you'll be happy about it. And isn't that all that really matters? We have to put in somewhat efficient roads or not efficient roads. I'm going to put this thing here. And I'm probably going to destroy it at some point. But we're going to be destroying a lot of stuff in the future. And that's... That's another thing yeah, I started to do in this series of just saying, hey, come on. We need to get some of this stuff done. And I've been working around some of my old stuff and I'm like, I need to stop doing that. If it's in my way, I need to bulldoze it down. I mean, isn't that the whole point of having the terraforming tools and all that? We need to uh, get some of this working to our advantage here. And that's what this episode is about. We're going to be doing that. So, we're, we're going to let them slack and do their little farming right now. But, as soon as these people are done, and this is where I have to watch big time. As soon as they're done, they're going to work. And that is mandatory. Everybody's going to be working. Now, we just have to find the right buildings that we want that we're going to absolutely need. We're going to have to throw down a soap workshop. That's going to be a must. So, the soap workshop, since we have all this stuff right here, but see, the bad thing is the farmers, they're going to have to path kind of far, which I'm not too crazy about two far, uh, two soaps right here because look what we have here we have 2800 on our fat which needs to turn into soap and we're going to get soap on a rope because we're also going to start doing rope too another thing that we need to get built over here we've got to start getting all this stuff this infrastructure built 
And of course, we're going to be relying huge on our lumber, which is so anorexic right now, it's pathetic. But I'll get that resolved as well, because that's what we're doing this episode. <laughs> it's going to be Slave Driver Larry. Now, we're going to pop these coal mines right here. Okay, we have coal. Now, we're going to start looking at these fields. They're done. So, since they're done, we're popping these guys. Oh, look at that. I've got 16 workers. I'm going to bring this up to eight. So we're going to fire that up and we're going to bring this up. We're going to bring this to eight. We're going to fire that up. What other farmers are not busy right now? Okay. I am not going to touch these guys because they are so easy to forget that it's like, nope. Okay. I have these three. So, in case if somebody dies, we don't lose any, you know, I'll lose the farmer when I turn it back on, but I'm okay with that. Now, we have these guys that it can work, but unfortunately, I don't have my other buildings built. We need to get our water reservoirs going as well. So, once that is done, life will get easier. Because we're going to surge them into the additional reservoir as well. And do we have the mats for it? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and get this one turned on as well. Now, as soon as we get this tech point, uh-oh, we got a murder here. Okay, now that we're getting murders, we need to find out what house is not covered by the church. And I'm thinking it might be this one. Yes, it's this one. Oh, you little goofballs. So how do we fix this? We can fix this through, oh, it's gonna be an expensive fix because we're either going to have to put down a church or a police station. And we want to do, okay, wait a minute. That police station covers all this. Come on, we need to pause this. Okay. That doesn't cover there. This doesn't... Okay, so we're going to need a church right over here. Right next to the school. So that what that's... I'm okay with that because then I can shut that police station down. And we'll just plop this puppy. Oh, I'd like to do it further down. But nah, we'll be okay. It'll suit our purpose for now. We can get rid of it later. Okay. And we'll put a rush on this. And hopefully we won't get any more murderers. Now, I have to watch this stuff because since they are doing their thing, we need to make sure they get back to their fields on time. I'm going to go ahead and put this storage yard here and this storage yard here. And be quite honest with you, I don't care what goes into these. Just as long as they can drop stuff and that's all that matters. Okay, we do have these available. And it's December. So it's really not going to do us any good. We have tons of fat, so we'll just do this. And we're going to do the same thing. Ooh, I don't have a person here now. 
Okay, we have that. But I'll go ahead and pause this because there's really no point. And we'll go ahead and pause this one. We'll bring this right here. And we'll turn this one back on. Even if they only get some soap made, it'll be okay. We got our new tech point. And what we need for that is go over here to mining. We need to get our refined fuel going. The fuel factories, can I put them right here? Oh, this would be glorious if we can. So we will pop three of these things right there. We'll get them one built at a time because since we have so much stuff going on right now, we're just decimating our lumber and we're, we're so hurting on our water and we need to turn the water back on. Oh, excuse me. We need to turn the water on itself. Now I'm thinking we're going to keep this water going because we did have extra people. Now we're going to turn this stuff off in February and I have to make sure I do this because if not, oh, I'm so going to hurt us. Now it's February. So we're going to pause this and this is going to be rinse and repeat all the time. Turn these on. Okay, we still have seven people. Let's get this turned on. How are we doing for our agave? If I can find them again. Oh, we're, oh, that's because of water. Water and maybe because of the fields. Hmm. That's a possibility. Uh, those two fields should take care of it. Oh, I'll just watch it and see what happens. Now, I think we have almost everything turned back on. We need to turn these off. Which will allow me to turn this field back on. Get this one up to full strength. Now everything is in the red, but we'll get through this. I know, I know. I've spent more time in the red than anything else. I get it. I understand. But we're going to surge some people here out of the school because we're just... We're not where I want us to be. So we need to pull some students because we have tons of students. And I want to keep growing. Is it going to hurt us on the bonus? Yes. Oh, I remember where some of our people went. Not there. Yeah, but I like having all these construction people. I'm okay with that. Okay, the fuel factory needs to shut down and we need to turn this one on. Okay, that is fine. And people are starving again. How are you people doing over here? Okay, Goose, not bad. 382 for last year. And 303. Okay, so maybe a second round of geese would be a smart thing. And one, somebody wants a house. So let's do a house.
if I can find the market. <laughs> Let's drop them right here. Now, see, that's the other problem that a lot of people run into is when we start doing all this building, we don't take into account to where they're actually working. Because I've put buildings all over this map, but the new housing's going in right here. That's where you I wish the game UI worked a little bit better as far as moving people around, but unfortunately it's not where it needs to be yet. Hopefully they'll get that fixed. And when they do, it'll be awesome. We're doing good on our mats over here. So the, let's get the ones that we really need up and going. Oh, I should have turned these houses on. Matter of fact, I think I will because we're going to be doing more employing over here as well. Let us get these turned on. I'll, I'll build them one at a time. I'll, I'll build two at a time. We have 19 people, which I do not know where that came from. So let's use some of these people up. We'll get the factory going here. Yeah, because all the fields are up and running. Let's go ahead and get soap started. We'll do a full bore on that. We'll add another person to the reservoir. Okay, not bad there. We will tack on two people here. I thought I'd set this up. I didn't hit select. Oh, that's going to be a bane of my existence right there. Fuel factory. We will do it. We're going to take our lumber off, turn that on. And we're going to need a kiln as well. So let's get that turned on. And right now, okay. Let's, once this field's done, we're gonna take these nine people and we're gonna move them over here. Let us get uh, the brick workshop going. And we're gonna need a couple of those. But we'll just build one at a time. We have the workers, so it'll be fine. Now, with us having all the extra workers, I have to get more buildings built so we can move people around. Food still sucking wind. And those are turned on. So that'll be fine. I'd like to get these people over there into this mine. So we can't do anything until they're done. We need more students, so I'll get that one started. And people still want more housing. We have these. Okay, we have the kiln factories going. This is finally starting to kick out stuff. Well, hopefully. Soon. <laughs> These fields are almost done. 
but I'd like to know why they haven't completed. So they're pathing too far away. And since they're pathing too far away, it's slowing our production down. But now that we're getting soap, that'll make life a little bit easier. And that's going to boost our health. Okay, these are done. So it's just going to be rinse, repeat. Now, doing all this moving around with the settlers, changing their jobs and all that, will eventually play havoc on the housing because they're they're just not going to know where to live. Gavi's going. Uh, Stillery's going back up. That's because of our water reservoirs. Yeah, see, and they're getting unhappy because they don't get enough water. I'll go ahead and turn this one up to two people because we can afford it. We need bricks. And did they get this area built? Yes, they did. Two for that, I'm okay with. The sand pit, okay. And then we'll also do clay. But in fact, I think I'm going to do clay full blown right now. Now, the one thing I kind of foobarred over here is I did not do a decent storage in this area. They're going to have to path. Yeah, that was my bad. That was unfortunate, but oh well. Now they are pulling out decent amounts of fuel out of that coal mine. So that's a kind of a win for us there. With this going the way it is, we need to, we did get the school started, which gives us more students, but this is also improving our research because you get the 100% bonus that we have set on the school. So its output is actually 40. And you figure uh, research institutes, I think they are, they only put out 30, I do believe. We'll have to get a couple built, but right now I want to get some things swapped out. Now we do have more immigrants coming. And we are just not keeping up with our clothes, even with two tailors running. Okay, we're in February and about ready to turn the fields back on. So let's go ahead and sh pause these. And this is this is something I want you to get used to doing on your maps because if you want to grow faster, you have one of two options. We can either do this through trade, but that's really not a good option because look at what you're going to have to spend on trade as far as points go. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have a dock, but then we have to worry about uh, plagues. The pottery and all that, we need to make products. Because what's the point in selling bulk stuff? You don't get any money for it. And I can make more money 
doing a wood statue or an iron statue than selling a piece of wood, you know, selling lumber or a piece of iron. That's something you should think about. Let's get rid of that. I'm good with that. But even with our fuel going, he's starting to hurt us. So we don't need that much fuel. Let's put him down to a hundred because we need to get our fuel, our coal going up more. And this next wave of immigrants is gonna do that for us. And we're gonna go ahead and lay down some more right, some more housing right here. Okay, we have, okay, I have these paused. Where's all my workers? Oh, I don't even recall turning these things back on. Oh, well. Now this rinse repeat thing with uh, cemetery works out so nice. And with having uh, the recycle, I don't have to come up with new mats. I just get the mats right back. And we'll go ahead and take these 15 in. And how many of them are sick? I'm not seeing any that are sick. But now we can go ahead and turn, since we have so many people now, we can just go ahead and keep this on. And they're going to get their new housing right here. We'll go ahead and open up more lumber. So we're all cool with that. Come on guys, get to work. And we're gonna need to add another tailor. But that's the bad thing with where everything's supplied out at. So we're gonna have to really seriously get into the real new technical stuff. And this is where the next phase of the plan kicks in. Now that we have more people, we can do a few more things which I wanna get accomplished. And right here is going to be our research institute. Right? Ah, it won't fit. Oh, but that'll fit. Can I make this look decent? No, that's not going to work. Ah. Okay, you don't get to go there. Oh, well, that means we're going to have to plug in some housing. And how far can we go here? Ooh, that's a distance. But then I don't like that clinic here. So, I can place the clinic right here. Oh, but that's going to foobar all this up. I guess the clinic is going to go here. Let's go ahead and throw in the housing.
Yeah, method to the madness. We will go ahead and put in our road, I'm thinking. We'll do that. I'm still just not feeling the vibe on this. I really am not. But I'm not really catching that vibe either. Tough decisions here, tough decisions. What can I put here? Is that's not enough? <gasps> no. What can I put here? Eh. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just move on to something else. I'm thinking bathhouse. But our research. Well, these will fit. Well, I'll, let's just do this. That works for me. And these are just temporary. I know people are like, really? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff for being temporary, Larry. Nope, it's going to be temporary. What we're going to also do is we're going to basically do research in the wintertime using our other people. Because this will be easy for me to track so I don't forget about farmers. You want to just do it to buildings that you can easily track and that will give you more bang for your buck. And that is what the plan is for this. I better pause these. I don't think I'm going to need them right this second. At least I hope I won't. But now you see where we're going with this. With these, this is going to really boost our research, which then technical points are going to start flying and we're going to be able to catch up and do a lot better things faster. So that's what the goal is on that. Now that you're seeing how I am re- doing the farmers we're going to get a whole lot more done over them and as we grow which we are then i can surge them someplace else because i want to get another mine open and you know what i know i shouldn't do it but i'm going to take these extra people and just have them mine i think that would be the smarter bet and to make life a little bit easier, I'm thinking we'll just put the road in right here so it'll be faster for them to get to and from where they need to go. Yeah, that's a good, this is a good place where to end the episode. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at more industrial, uh, get into paper, because paper is going to be important. I want to start trading as soon as possible. And we're going to start tearing down some of our fields. And we're going to be bringing in fish. And that's going to be really hypercritical for that. Is we're going to be bringing in some fish. And we also need to set up base farms. For every one of our breeds. So like how this animal plague's coming. We want to be able to divert by having like 10 or 8, whatever it is, in a small pasture. When we lose animals in our big herds, we can just shift them over real fast. And we'll have one person in the smaller uh, animal farms, so at least they won't cost us anything. Either that or we'll just have them on pause, allow them to breed, and just take up space. But yeah. 
I hope you're having a great day because I know I am. And if you like videos like this and you want others to be able to see them, please hit that like button. And of course, if you want to be notified when I put out the, the new episodes, by all means, subscribe. I'm Larry, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.